let's check out these legendary CapCut editing tips. So now let's make an easy slice and split transition in CapCut. Now before I move into the main part of the video, if you want to elevate these transitions to the next level and make your video stand out, I recommend adding a background track and sound effects. And what this will do is really elevate the video and make these transitions pop. Now, where do you get your background sounds from and the sound effects? That is where Epidemic Sound will step in. There's no need to worry about copyright claims and getting your videos taken down or anything like that with Epidemic Sound. There's a link in the description below. It's well worth checking them out if you want to take your video production to the next level. So let's get back into the main video. So first things first, let's drag our media onto the timeline. Then move to the end here where you want to make the splice or the split transition. Then drag your second piece of media to that section. Then all you need to do, come to the start of the second media come over to the right hand side, select video, then mask, and we want to select the mirror mask. And we want to make the mirror so it's completely together, so you won't see it. Then let's add a keyframe. Let's move the playhead on slightly, then grab the mask and make it the full width. The keyframe will automatically be added when you do that. Now, when you press play, you can see this splits into the second clip. If you want to speed the split up, you can grab the keyframe here and drag it to the left so it's closer to the first keyframe and that split will happen quicker. Now, let's delete them keyframes and start over again to make a slice split. So again, let's add a keyframe at the very start with using the mirror mask make it so you can't see the mask by bringing them both together. Then let's move the playhead on slightly. Let's open up the mask ever so slightly like that. Again, let's move the playhead on slightly. Then let's add another keyframe. Let's move the playhead on again slightly and let's open the mask fully. Now, as you see, when you play that, it's like someone has sliced the clip and then split it. So let's add a third clip as we just did. Let's go to the video and mask again and let's select mirror. Now with this transition, you can turn the mirror mask in any direction. So let's go on a slant like this. Again, let's close the mask completely. Add a keyframe. Let's play the video on slightly. Open up the mask. Play the video on slightly. Then let's add another keyframe. Then let's play it on again and open up it fully. So as you can see, it's the same effect as before, but on an angle. And let's do that a third time. As I say, you can change the angle in any direction. You can go 180 degrees with this mask. So we'll do exactly the same effect, just on a different angle. And there you go. That's how to make an easy splice, split transition in CapCut. And now I'll show you how to make smooth mask transitions on CapCut. Now I'll show you three different ways how to do a smooth mask transition in CapCut. And these will elevate your videos. So first things first, I have two clips here that I want to smooth transition with a mask. As you can see, it's a hard cut at the moment. So what we need to do is come to the start of the second clip, what's going into a hard cut, highlight it, select video, then mask, and then we want to select the horizontal mask. Let's turn the mask 90 degrees, then take the mask off screen. You can add a feather if you wish, then, Add a keyframe. Now what we want to do is we want to move the playhead along slightly. Then bring the mask to the opposite side of the screen. But we want it off screen again. So 
So now what you can do when you press play, as you see, the mask smoothly transitions across. So let's show you the second way. Again, get to the start of the clip, video, mask, and then we'll select horizontal again. This time, go 29 degrees. And this will go corner to corner. Bring the mask completely off the screen in the top left hand corner. Again, you can feather if you wish. Add a keyframe. Move the video play ahead on slightly. Drag the mask off to the bottom right hand corner. The keyframe should automatically be added. Then when you watch that, a perfect smooth transition. Now the third way, and one I really like, again come to the start of the video clip, video and mask. This time let's select the circle mask. Let's make the circle really small. Let's feather it again. At any point you can come back and readjust these. Let's add the keyframe. Let's play the video clip on slightly. Now let's make the circle back big. But this time let's take it all the way off screen and take the feather back down to zero. Now let's play that. Now I really like that one. Let us know in the comments which one you like the best. The first, the second or the third. But that's how to make a smooth mask transition on CapCut. And now I'm going to show you how to create a hand slide transition in CapCut. So first things first, let's drag the two pieces of media that I want to create the transition on. As you can see, when you play it, it automatically just skips. This is called a hard cut into the next clip. However, let's make it a little more fun. So come to the start of the second clip we want to transition into. Come to the right hand side, select video, then mask. Then we want the rectangle mask. Let's make it square like this, then drag it off screen. Then let's add a keyframe here in the top right hand corner. Then let's play the video on slightly. Then open up the mask to the other side. The keyframe should automatically be added once you let go of the mouse. Once you've done that, let's bring our hand image here. This is just a simple image that I found online. Then let's come again back to the start of the transition. <laughs> let's make the hand how we wish. Then come to the right hand side, video basic, position and size, and add a keyframe. So this is the start of where we want the transition to begin. Play the video on. Now highlight the second clip and bring it to the position of the second keyframe. Move the hand so it's off the screen. And when we play it, you can see the hand moves across with the transition. However, if we move it to around here, you can see the finger just isn't correct. So we can then highlight the hand clip and we can adjust the position and the keyframe will automatically be added. And you can just move it along slightly and then keep readjusting the hand as you wish. And then it'll always stay on that line as if it's pulling the clip across. So now if we watch that, much better. So that's how to create a hand slide transition in CapCut. And in this one, I'll show you how to smooth white bar transition in CapCut. So first things first, you want to add the two clips you want to have the white bar transition on. Adjust them to how you wish. Then come to transitions. You want to search out the comparison to. If you can't find it, type in the search box here, comparison to. As you can see, this is a pro feature. I am looking at a way of doing it without the pro feature. However, at the moment, I only know how to do it this way. So drag the comparison to onto the timeline. You can adjust the length by dragging it 
left or right. And that's how to do the smooth white bar transition in CapCut. So that's all the CapCut transitions we have for today. If you found this video helpful, let others know by smashing the like button. And don't forget, smash that subscribe if you want to see many more CapCut tutorials like this one.